Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and we are playing Divinity Dragon Commander a uh, strategy game recently released on Steam and um, it's actually an indie title, a high quality, I would say triple A indie title uh, which is pretty amazing uh, by, what are they called again, uh, Larian Studios they made all sorts of games uh, but I believe um, this is their newest from the Divinity series and um, the special thing about this uh, it's not only a strategy game but um, you can uh, apparently transform into a dragon and um, help your troops in the battle I don't know what that is about but I love strategy games uh, once in a while and uh, we are going uh, in blind I have no idea I just started up the game uh, the first time so we're going to figure out what this game is about and we're going with the story campaign um, name weasel, that's correct. Uh, I'll go with normal. Um, dragon type, saber dragon, uh, the mountain dragon. Okay, I can select different dragons. Um, the zephyr dragon is proud and highly gifted. Try to avoid overtly physical transmutation, but prefer instead to skillfully liquidate the enemies with magic. Um, that, um, it, it is raw power above all that depend on it in combat. And what is you, who, who are you, the saber dra dragon? Um, I do like the massive look of the mountain dragon. This one looks a little bit like a grown-up Spyro, to be to be completely honest. But anyway, we are going with this one. Um, <clears throat> purifying flames. Okay, these are the spells. I think I will figure out how they work uh, later. Let's check our colors. Uh, let's go with blue. Why not? And let's start the game. So. Thousands of years ago, Sigurd I built incredible engines of war, and with them, forged an empire. The emperor married and sired many children. He even had a love child with mysterious Aurora, an ancient dragon in a woman's guise. Once united, peace was declared in Rivalon, and bloodshed soon forgotten. But Sigurd's realm of peace was shattered when his own sons and daughters rose against him. War returned with vengeance, and annihilation reached new heights. Desperate to safeguard Sigurd's legacy, the wizard Maxos sought the help of the one child that never betrayed his father, Sigurd and Aurora's son, the half-dragon prince. He would be the one to save the empire from ruin, and to aid him in his quest, Maxos delivered unto him the imperial command ship known as the Raven. This is the story of Maxos and the dragon. This is the story of the Dragon Commander. Well, that sounds promising to me. So we are commandeering a big ship. Oh, looks like it. Looks beautiful. Okay, what do we got here? The Rivalon Times. Uh, Emperor of Rivalon murdered. Sons and daughters go to war. Uh, the popularity among dwarves, elves. Okay, it's all, well... Fairly balanced and um, okay, we get this newspaper. Interesting. Welcome, noble dragon, to the Raven. This wonder of engineering, this miracle wrought in magic that has a living demon for a heart. Okay, interesting. Between the knowledge I shall pry from this infernal creature's cryptic mind and the avalanche of tomes, manuscripts, and blueprints aboard awaiting study, we will catch up with our enemies in no time. And claim back the lands they have taken by force. Let's Our task do this. Is monumental, but we will not have to face it alone. Two famed generals are here already, loyal to the legacy we are trying to save, and therefore loyal to you. Okay, that sounds good to me. Uh, furthermore, enlisted the service of Grumio. Who's Grumio? Of devilish cunning. Uh -huh. he can fashion anything my research will uproot. Already, he has created you a wonder he calls a jetpack. Ooh, a jetpack, of course. It's an imp. He can build crazy things, Talk can't to they? Men. Get your bearings and begin your conquest. If you have any more questions, you can find me in the royal chamber, which I shall use as a study. Okay, good to know. Good luck, dragon. So I am the dragon. Interesting. I'm the dragon commander. 
Okay, so left click on the character to talk with him or her. Click on the strategy globe to access the strategy map. Interesting. What is that about? Uh, show tutorials. Yes, let's do that. So this find Max is in the royal chamber and Grumio in the engineering bay. To research new unit types, unit upgrades and dragon skills. Okay, so this is uh, somewhat like uh, the StarCraft interface where you can walk around or interact with the characters uh, on one screen. Yeah, it, it feels similar, which is not bad. Definitely not bad. The cards menu, interesting. The bridge, the bar, the engineering bay. Let's go to the bar. Let's check out the bar. There's a little uh, exclamation point over there. Uh, who are you? There we have it, I suppose. Mm, yes. The dragon son of a monarch deposed. Uh -huh, yes. Rightful heir to the throne, even if he was born out of wedlock. Ah, uh -huh, well. I am Lord Edmund Augustus the Third. You look like Duke a of Hawknest Hall. weird lizard. I'd add at your service, but I don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> I like I like this to character already. Honest, I'd normally entertain the idea of lending my expertise to your cause as curtly as I'd consider attending a dwarven opera. <laughs> <laughs> but not unlike my fellow general, it is Maxos's backing of this enterprise that has me intrigued. You have doubts, Benefit, Dragon. Let's see how far it takes you. Well, we will find out. Uh, oh, I can interact. That's nice. I sense a lot of distrust in you, Edmund. What is your take on the war that has erupted? And I shall take my leave. Um, when one dwells among the highest echelons of power, where ambition runs thicker than blood, distrust is your best friend, mm -hmm. as is its brother, Caution. In your case, though, the waters of misgiving run somewhat deeper. You are, after all, but a half-dragon. So? You're racist, man. They call your kind Dragon Knights to lend an air of nobility to a lowly mixed breed. Mm -hmm. Not many make the distinction, even. But the crucial difference is impurity. Human ancestry taints your being. For humanity and weakness are two sides of the same tuppence I drop in beggar's hats. Well, then a screw you. twice are you, my lord. Fuck you. Bastard born and bastard bred. Uh-huh. Thank you. That... For being so blunt. Uh, well, take my leave anyway. I don't, I don't really care too much. Can I do something else? No, I can just talk to you. What is what is going on in the engineering bay, I wonder? Hello. Greetings, sire. Ah, hello. From King. I am Grumio, son of Grumio, an imp they look of good and really good. Standing. Your technician, shall I be? Okay, I good. You're like my jet pack. Yeah, of course. She is special, this vessel. Uh huh. Filled with wonders undiscovered. Okay, let's let's show me something about the research. I want to speed this up a little bit. So, uh, the unit unit types and unit upgrades can be unlocked by spending research points. The more countries you occupy, the more research points you receive per turn. So it's something like. Uh, what is it called? What is this this game called? Uh, uh, Risk? Is it called Risk? It's called Risiko in Germany, so it might be. Anyway, uh, some research items are grayed out. You need to research requisites first. Okay, I get that. So uh, I got 20 research points, um, and I have no idea if they would uh, benefit me or uh, which one I should go. There are a lot of. A lot of upgrades, so um, I think I'll keep those 20 research points and we will go to the bridge and uh, start our first campaign, but so far it looks pretty promising and interesting. I like uh, the interface like this. Um, so I think this is our world map where we can fight on. During the strategy phase, build units and buildings, play cards and conquer countries to expand your empire and its resources, overthrow the enemy's capitals to win. And don't forget to defend your own. When you're finished playing your turn, press the end turn button to proceed. Okay, hold the left mouse button and move the mouse to navigate around the map. Okay, uh, scrolling in and moving around. Interesting. Okay, so this is the realm we are fighting. Kraken Bay, the endless grey, sea of sorrows. Lord's Lock. Wouldn't it be awesome if our oceans had such names? Such dark, dark names. Anyway, um, so I'm blue, so this is our home base. It actually uses my Steam profile picture. Isn't that awesome? It, I have my little weasel down here in that middle. That's so cool. So, um, so what do I do here? Uh, the cards menu. There are many different types of cards. Play them on countries to earn strategic advantages. Use others to increase the odds of winning battles. Okay. Um, unlock the Call of Valua Dragon skill for one combat round. Okay. Um, I got a lot of... Okay, increased revenue. I just, just want to know how... That's uh, just my collection. Interesting. 
So how do I get started? And turn? Okay. So this is our capital. Um, buy units, play card. Okay, um, let's play the revenue increase just for interest so we get a little bit more gold. Did you undo, the undo button in the right upper corner? No, I didn't, but now I do. And um, let's um, buy units. What's our gold? Our gold is 20 and I get a lot of 8 per turn right now. Spend gold to buy new units. So let's do this. Uh, troopers are light ground units and um, strong against other light ground units and armored units, weak against hunters, heavy units. Okay, I see. So we can build several units. Let's go. We got four troopers, so I will build another light ground unit here. And the shaman is a light amphibious support unit. No, I don't want support units right now. I want more of these. Okay, so except let's go with that. Um, so, oh, now they appear here, the trooper and the grenadier amount, the amount of them. Okay, that's cool. So let's end our turn. In this phase, you can see the moves your enemies are making. You can skip them by pressing the skip button. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I see the cards they use. Genocide? What? What did he do? Genocide? Genocide. Okay. That's, you're doing a lot of things. That's fine. Okay. Okay, they're taking a new... Could I, could I have moved my units already? So nothing changes here. So let's go to the strategy map again. And each country you conquer starts earning you gold. Okay, I get that. And the longer I hold it, the better the defenses. Each country is populated by a certain species. Your current popularity among the species shown at the bottom of the screen. The higher your popularity, the more support you receive in this land. The more you support you enjoy, the larger the army in a country you can be built during the <coughs> uh, can be during the combat phase. Okay, so so I move my what do we have here? Two hunters. Um, I can use my grenadier over there. Um, yeah, let's move. This is a neutral country. If you capture it, immediately becomes yours, as do the country units should be there. Um, and let's attack. How many over there? We got three, and we got seven troopers, so I will attack this one. Accept. And let us... How do I build something? I buy units. Okay. Okay, I seem to kind of get this. This wasn't that hard. Um, there's probably much strategy involved. But so far, I am... I feel like I'm getting it at least. I might not get it, but let's see what cards we got. Uh, I cannot cast a card here. What about here in the enemy? Hunters in a selected country won't be able to move in this round. Are these hunters? No, these are troopers. These are hunters. Okay, so... But I don't need to attack here. It's mine soon. So that's good. Okay, let's end the turn. Interesting, interesting. So we see the movement on the map. This is a fairly small... Well, let's say realm. Um, and they're building units, I assume. This is an overview of battles are going to happen, which will give you final tactical insights before the fight commences. If you finish viewing the map, press the continue button to go to battle. Okay, so I see chance to win 73%. Um, okay, go to battle. Let's see if I can can I can I cast a car or something. Unlock the color Volor Dragon skill for one combat round. Um, okay, I cannot cast it right now. That's fine. So, let's go to battle! And now I'm really interesting. Decide who will lead combat. Select a dragon if you want to participate in the combat yourself. Of course I want! You can play cards and prove the odds in your favor. Okay. So, oh, now I can do things. Three Grenadier mercenaries are fighting on your side in this battle. One transport mercenary is fighting on your side in this battle. Um... I think we got enough. Two Grenadiers against seven troopers. And who will lead the battle? Weasel, Edmund, or Henry? Well, I will. But didn't I choose another dragon? No, I didn't. Anyway, select which dragon skills will be available in combat by dragging them to the skill bar. So we will do that as well. Um, the Ray of Power. You fire a beam at a friendly unit. Okay. That heals. Uh, this skill specifically made to protect your teammates' dragons or units. Shield is cast on your allies, dragons, or unit. And the purifying flames. Um, 10 seconds when colliding with a friendly unit. They restore 172 hit points. Unlike your standard fire attack, these charges do not overheat. 
Uh, yeah, okay, so they're all selected. So that's, I, I guess, that's fine. So let's see what happens. Okay, um, cycle through recruitment centers. What? Okay, control, select all types on the screen, shift, hold to Q commands, default camera position, shift plus left mouse button, add, remove unit from selection. Okay, so a um, general um, fighting overlook, I wonder. How do I control the dragon when it comes to this? Press any key to continue. Let's do this. Now I'm really curious what's going on. Okay. We got our RTS view. Okay. So this is their base. This is our base, I assume. So, okay. I think I understand this. We got the regular move attack uh, on the grid. But it's not, not, not grid buttons, so... That's kind of bad, but let's let's move all our units and simply attack. I mean, why the wouldn't I? No why wouldn't I right now? Okay, so this is the construction site. Battle Forge allows the production of light glass ground units. Ah, let's build one. And the recruitment citadel increases the amount of recruits gained from the country's population. Okay, so this counts down uh, and shows me that my dragon will be available in 70 seconds. Okay, we are, we are moving over here and station our units, which look kind of weird to be honest. Um, we will station them over here. And oh, there they're coming. Oh, okay. Well, that works pretty well, I think. I think we will win this easily, even before our dragon will spawn, which is kind of a shame. But what can you do, right? Okay. New tutorial available, movement selection, building options. I think I got this. Okay, let's get these. Let's check our battle forge. Okay, there we can. Shaman. Okay, how do I see? Recruit support for. Oh, can they now? Good for them, good for them, but we will win anyway. So, screw them and their units. Well, it's kind of weird right now, but I want to see the dragon appearing. Okay, there's something else back here. Um, and there is another harbor, the transport I assume this is. Okay, dragon! Dragon ready to spawn. Press R to deploy. It's impossible, Commander. That's impossible, Commander. What? Oh, near... Blood. You must be near friendly units to deploy a dragon. Aren't those friendly units? Just just saying. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got a dragon. And I can shoot. This is uh, very cool. Oh, I think these are turrets that are... Well, that, that, that went not very well. So these are some... Ah, anti-air turrets, of course. Yeah, not very good for... Dragons to fight against, right? I will crush their bones. So yes, you got this RTS uh, strategy element. You got the controls from uh, other, well, the basic standard, you, you could say. Oh wait, can I build a battle forge here? Oh, nice. I can build several of those and uh, increase my unit support uh, and my amount of units. So oh, I can deploy my dragon again. That's good. So let's do this and help attack this base or whatever this is. So how do I get out of the view of my dragon view? Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is the jetpack? Of course, my dragon has a jetpack. This is so weird, but it looks so cool. Okay, let's attack this uh, tanker just for funsies. I think we can get a little bit closer. Does it shoot at me? Yes, it shoots at me. It shoots rockets at me. Screw you and your rockets. This is definitely interesting. Now I just don't know. Press the right mouse button and the movement key to dash in the direction you want. Okay, this is dashing. Um, so how do I switch back from my units? I pressed 1. That's the spell I remember. Okay. I'm currently trying to figure out how I get out of my dragon view, if that's even possible. Friends with benefits activated. Please select a friendly unit. Can I attack my own units, by the way? No, I cannot. Okay. 
so that we got this figured out, I will well, attack and I gotta figure out how I get can switch from Dragon to uh, Unit U. So this is definitely an interesting twist that you can participate in your own battles. So let's say these would attack... Um, I think this is a shield, is it? Might be. Or healing. I'm not too sure right now anymore what is going on here. I'm just attacking this boat, which spawn a lot of units. Well, let's destroy the boat first and then we will fight against those. They, they, they can't do shit, right? Eh, they can't do anything. Oh, I think my weapon overheated. Something like that. Well, they can shoot in the air, so I'm, I'm, I'm golden, I would say. There we go. Keep it up. Victory will be yours in two seconds. Yay! Victory! We made it. So this was a battle round. Um, interesting. I don't know how to switch back from the dragon, but I will eventually figure that out, of course. And then we get the better result. And buildings in various countries earn you strategic advantages. You can only have one building per country. So choose carefully if you decide to build a new one. Building in a certain country is not of your liking. You can sell it and buy, build another one. Okay. So did anything change? Triumph, triumph, Trump's overkill, Emperor says, even undead perplexed. <laughs> Great dragon, glorious warrior. Mm, yes. Once more you return from the battlefield red with the blood of slain adversaries. And let me tell mm -hmm. you, these victories of yours have not gone by unnoticed. Didn't they? In fact, to my great satisfaction, another pair of dauntless generals... Okay, so we're getting some support. Awesome. Who are they? Tell me. Four military masterminds are now on board. More than enough oh, okay. to start a campaign of conquest on a truly grand scale. No doubt you're as anxious to meet them as they are to meet you. So why don't you go to the throne room, where I've instructed them to await your arrival. Between you, me, Grumio, and my generals, my cam cabinet is now complete? Heavens no. <laughs> you have the military firmly on your side, but civil emissaries too okay. are bound this to join our cause in due time. The public population, the, the population, be declared emperor or for long. people yes, that represent them will join me. Emperor, it is inevitable. People have heard of you, mm. the dragon, mm. their one hope of deliverance from mm. war, oppression, and mm. death. Soon hope will turn into confidence, and when ambassadors of the civilized races flock to the Raven, your political career will commence. Well, I'm looking you forward to that. Will of course, represent all humans, but the dwarves, elves, all humans. I thought I'm bastard. Anyway, so this was Divinity Dragon Commander. Uh, just some the first mission, and um, I hope it gave you a quick overview. It looks pretty amazing. It is available on Steam right now. And, oh, the throne room. Let's go to the throne room. My Lord Let's check Dragon, that out. Allow me to present your team of generals. Yeah, show me them. You look like a real badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. You look angry. Hail. Yes, well. <laughs> he is so cool. He's so cool. He's a dragon, right? He's 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 a real dragon, like like a mix that can transform to a dragon, right? I'm, I'm not really sure uh, about the lore about this game, but uh, these are apparently my four generals. And uh, as I said, I hope this gave you a quick overlook over the game. If you want me to play more of this game, feel free to leave some comments uh, and some likes and tell me. Um, but for now, I think um, this should have given you a quick overview about the game. Of course, there's much more, many more units and uh, I assume a lot more strategic uh, involved. Um, strategy involved, uh, especially with cards, and um, this was, I think, my first fight, so of course it was easy, and um, I really do like the um, way they uh, mashed RTS cards uh, for bonuses, and um, this uh, round-based conquest mode, let's, let's call it conquest, is it called conquest? Damn it, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, enjoyed the game, the game is called Divinity Dragon Commander. You can get it on Steam right now, and um, it's about 45, 44 uh, euros. I don't know what that might be in uh, dollars, but I think it's the same. Uh, Valve uh, Steam conversion is one to one. But anyway, I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye bye!